What's up is why you've been lying to me for 11 years telling me that DJ is my real son. Why you been lying to me? What have they lying about? I got a DNA test done. A DNA saying what? Saying that he's not my son. Let me see this DNA test. You don't need to see it. I saw it. How DNA test is going to say How you going to be lying to me for 11 son? years? Why would you do that to me? Who? Where's the lie? The I lie is you. DNA you test. are the lie. You have been lying to me for 11 years, having me believe that my son that I've been raising for 11 years is not really my son. Like, how could you do that to me? Like, what, what can you say for yourself right now? What made you get a DNA test? Because I went through your phone. And why? Talking about me, laughing and bragging, telling your friends that I have no idea that he's really not my son. So I went and got a DNA test done. Like, you think I'm stupid or something? Like, how could you do this to me? You know what? What? You care more about me going son. through your phone than you lying to me about... Some, my son I not being mine? Out. Are I'm you kidding me out. right now? Are you kidding me right now? You care more about being humiliated and me finding out that, that our son is not really my son and that he has him? a different you father. I sure him? have because I thought he was my son. Because you've been lying to me this whole time. What are you talking about? Does it matter? It does, does matter. matter. Are you crazy? What do you mean? That absolutely matters. Like, you don't see anything wrong with what you did? You don't see anything wrong with what you did? You've been lying to me? You've been sitting here lying to me for 11? For 11? Of course I love him, but, I can't, but you guys can't stay. You can't stay here anymore. Where are we going to go? I don't know. It's not my problem. 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 You can't stay here. You can't stay here. You can't stay here. You can't, I don't know. It's not my problem. I did my job. I did my Where job. I did my job as a dad. I did my job as a dad. You can't stay here anymore. Y'all gotta go. Both y'all, y'all can't stay anymore. No, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. Y'all can't stay here anymore. Y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta get y'all out. Y'all gotta go. I can't deal with it. I'm putting y'all out. Yes. Who's gonna put it out? I'm gonna put you out. I'm gonna put you out. I'm gonna. I will pack your bags myself and put you out of here. I will pack your bags. Y'all can't stay here. You gotta go. You got. You lied to me. You lied to me. You lied to me for 11 years. And you lied for 11 years straight. You lied to me. Have me believe that he's my son. No, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta get up out of here. You gotta get up out of here. No, I can't look at you. I can't look at. No. Y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta go. No. Before I do something crazy, I'm gonna regret. Yes. Yes. Lied to me. You lied. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 19, and it reads this. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Call layim la, abanawa, yahawa, bahashim, yahawashai, bahashim, rakakradash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Sirach 25 verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Hey man, you, you can't put nothing across these women. You really can't be uh, amazed, shocked, or surprised at the things that they're going to put you through. Uh, 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 through all the deceit, the lies, the trickery. You know, the Lord has fashioned and put in these women's spirit to do these things, man. Now, we must not forget, this is hell for us. This is a nightmare. OK, you know, we weren't sent here to Babylon to prosper, man. But also, man, as we know, man, that uh, DNA test should be mandatory at birth. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if they passed this law or if they are still in the process of it. But a man is not supposed to be connected or liable for a child unless he's married to that woman. And that's something I, I believe I did a video on it or I, I, I just did a, a short clip. I'm not too sure, but it is something that was uh, being spoken of. I don't know how if they, you know, made it uh, for certain, you know, it's something that's going to be going on. But 
You know, we can't you can't be amazed at the wickedness of these women, man. Okay. As it says in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse twenty six, man, these these women are, you know, uh, 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 supplanting you men for snares and traps, man, to make their life easier. But let's continue. Let's go to the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, because, you know, as 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 you see and as you heard, man, this 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 uh, man's bed is defiled, man. This woman has uh, committed a, a great trespass against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So this is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 13. Their offspring is cursed. Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled. Okay? So this offspring that this woman has brought into the earth that is not her husband's is cursed, man. Okay, because that womb, which, you know, a, 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 a lot of brothers, a lot of us come through polluted wombs. You know, I can't say my mother, I can't say that my mother's womb was uh, uh, pure when I came through it. Okay, their offspring is cursed. Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled. And this woman is defiled. Okay, she's polluted. Okay, physically, mentally and spiritually which have not known the sinful bed, okay, in our whole nation, man. And you know, uh, 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 Jake's not exempt because Jake is supplying the, 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 the equipment, the rod for these women to do so, man, okay? Vice versa, which have not, which have not known the sinful bed shall have fruit in the visitation of souls. And, and when that time's come for judgment, it's going to be a harsh judgment. It's not going to be sweet. It's not going to be fruitful. It's going to be a uh, 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 condemning. It's going to be a harsh affliction of a judgment, man, and, and suffering, man. Okay, because you women believe that you're never going to have to answer for all the wickedness that you produce, everything that you're about, man. You're going to have to answer for all that because, look, man, let's go here real quick. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable and also... Marriage is honorable in the eyes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, but as we just read, man, your bed is not supposed to be defiled. It's supposed to be undefiled. And how is that? By not, by not committing adultery uh, uh, against your wife or against your husband, man. And, and damn sure not bringing in another heir by another man, man. Okay? That, that puts a, another spirit on, on, that, on, that, on, on that man's uh, 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 possession, which is the woman, which is the earth, man. Okay, why do you think you see all of our women out here running the muck, man? They got multiple spirits on them, man. Okay? Marriage is honorable and all, and the bed undefiled, man. But whoremongers and adulterers, the most high will judge, man. So you may think it's sweet that you're getting away with what you're doing because the Lord is long suffering. You know, as it says in Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11 on down. You know, you, you keep on committing transgressions against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And that also shows in society that our people have no fear of the Lord, man. They only fear Esau because Esau is their Lord, man. That's who they reverence and that's who they worship, man. That's who they bow the knee to is Esau, man. They don't bow the knee or worship or reverence Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Period, man. But let's continue, man. Judgment is right around the corner for you wicked bitches and you wicked niggas, man. Nobody's exempt. Okay, especially not the dude that uh, 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 laid down with this man's uh, uh, wife. And these kids are a testimony against you. Let's, let's prove it through scripture. Let's jump back to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 6. For children begotten of unlawful beds. Do you hear that? For children begotten of unlawful beds are witnesses of wickedness against their parents in their trial, man. So you literally setting yourself up to, to, to be judged, man. The, the, the judgment has already uh, been declared, man. The, the, the death angels are literally just waiting for Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai to give them the green light. That's all it is, man. So what you bring in, in, the, in these... Uh, 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 other other heirs, these other children by other other uh, men, whether it be an Israelite man or a heathen, you know, you you, you sealing your fate. 
and you're defiling your, your, your marriage, your bed, man, and especially you. Ain't no other man supposed to lay his seed in, in any other man's uh, wife, man. That is wicked as hell, man. And that is fucking disgusting, man. And a lot of you Israel, <laughs> you Israelites are disgusting, man. And I got another video too, man, to show because like I said, man, Jake's not exempt. And also, as it says too, Salaki, I'm being long-winded, but also in Sirach chapter 26, uh, maybe 25 or 26 or 24, somewhere in there, where it says a wicked woman is given a, a, to, a, 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 to a wicked man, roughly paraphrasing. So again, he's not exempt, man. The Lord is not going to give you a righteous woman that's seeking him and taking heed to his uh, rules. Salakia. Israel. That's what happens when you spit in fire. But let's continue. <laughs> let's continue. Let's go here real quick. Let's go to the book of Galatians, chapter 5. I'm going to read verse 17, and it reads this For the flesh lusteth after the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And that's what we're seeing, man. We're seeing two thirds of our people being carnal. Letting their flesh uh, uh, conquer their spirit. Letting their flesh uh, uh, make decisions in their life, man. Which is leading them to death and which, and which is leading them to error, man. Okay? For the flesh lusteth after the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. So, you know, just like, you know, a, 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 a Bati boy, an alphabet boy. You know, they get mad when you say certain things and tell them this and that because they know in their spirit it's not right, man. Just like, you know, you, you Israelites, man, uh, uh, you, you wicked nigga woman and you wicked jakes, man. When you get reproved and rebuked and corrected and you go off, you know it ain't right, man. And, and, and if you if you listen in this uh, clip, she wasn't even acknowledging that, that she lied to this man and having this man raising somebody else's baby. You know what she was mad about? She was mad about him going through her fucking phone, man. Through her phone, man. Hey, man, you cannot make this up, man. But if I, you know, as it says, man, our people want to be carnal, man. You know, in Hebrews 8, those that walk, walk in the flesh. Matter of fact, let's get it real quick. Let's get it real quick. I think it's Hebrews is it Hebrews uh, or is it uh, Slack? Uh, is it Hebrews or is that Corinthians? Uh, it might be Corinthians. Slack, forgive me, man. I think it might, man. I can't remember which one it is, man. Oh, is it Hebrews or is it? Hmm. No, it's not a... Oh, man, oh, man. God dang it. I think it's Corinthians, man. I just don't remember whether it's 1 Corinthians or 2 Corinthians. Nah, this is not the one I want. Uh, dang it. Okay, it's Romans. Salakia. Yeah, it's Romans. Salakia. Uh, Romans 8, verse 6. For to be carnal minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And uh, Because the carnal minded is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So you want to be in the spirit, man. Cause what you you what you what you uh, going through your carnal flesh, man. This this is the uh, the outcome, which is going to lead you to judgment, man. Point blank, period, man. So let's close out here, man. The points made, man. Let's close out here, cause this matter has a, has a, a, a grievous judgment, man. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter twenty three. Um, let's start off at verse. 
verse 22. Thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband, okay? And even if she leave her husband to go out and do girls' night out, or whatever the case may be, it don't, it don't specifically have to mean, you know, to actually leave her husband. Thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband and bringeth in an heir by another. For first, she have disobeyed the law of the Most High, and secondly, she have trespassed against her own husband. And thirdly, she have played the whore in adultery and brought in so like it, and brought children by another man. And this is a, a clear depiction. So what's going to be the judgment for that? Verse 24, she shall be brought out into the congregation and inquis inquisition shall be made of her children. OK, so she's going to get judged and those kids are going to get judged. Her children shall not take root and her branches shall bring forth no fruit. OK, so what is that? That's judgment. As a matter of fact, we'll, we'll see what, what, it, uh, what it says in the, uh, in the Good News translation. But let me finish this out. Verse 26. She shall leave her memory to be cursed and her reproach shall not be blotted out. So this woman will be made an example for all Israel to uh, uh, have that remembrance of what of what not to do. And they that remain shall know, OK, like I just said, and they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and there and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It is a glory to follow the Lord Yahweh and to receive of him hits like and to receive of him is long life, man. That's scary, man. Let me see what this uh looks like in the good news translation. If I don't like it, we're gonna close out. But that's scary, man. So y'all keep on thinking everything is sweet. You know, keep on thinking everything is sweet. Jacob's trouble is right around the corner, man. This this system is falling, man. Okay, you even got people stealing food stamps from Eve, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read this in the Good News translation. So this is a Sirach twenty three, starting off at verse twenty two in the Good News translation. The same is true of a woman who is unfaithful to her husband and presents him with a child by another man. In the first place, she has broken the law of the Most High. In the second place, she was wrong. It's like it's in the second place, she has wronged her husband. And in the third place, she has made a whore of herself by committing adultery and bearing the child of a man, not her husband. The children will suffer for her sin. They will not be able to find a place in society or establish families. She herself will be brought before the assembly and permanently disgraced. There will be a curse on her memory after she is gone. Everyone will realize that nothing is better than fearing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Nothing is sweeter than keeping his commandments. So you women out here doing this and you you jakes supplying rod and and, and, and your time to, to commit these unrighteous wicked acts. Amen. May may Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah destroy all you, man. So keep on thinking it's sweet. Keep on walking around laughing, thinking you living your best life. We're gonna we gonna see. Y'all play, y'all playing with the Lord, man. And Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah is gonna show you who gets who gets the last uh uh say so. So Lord willing, I hope and I pray that this is edifying, uplifting, and informative to the true sincere Akim Wa Akwaf. So with that, I'm just gonna say Shalom. Oh, it's not my problem. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. You can't say it. You can't say it. You can't say it. You can't, I don't know. It's not my problem. I did my job. I did my job. I did my job as a dad. I did my job as a dad. You can't stay here anymore. Y'all gotta go. Y'all can't stay anymore. No, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I can't deal with it.